Hi, Elena is here, and today I'm excited to speak with Jim and Jamie Shills, who are authors of the playbook Passive Income and the founders of 18 Summers podcast for parents. They're also educators and real estate investors. They succeed in both business and home. Welcome, Jim and Jamie. Thanks, Thanks Elena. Elena. Good to be here. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Um, so I want to jump into something very exciting. I'm deeply touched by your mission of helping people lead better family lives. A lot of people have a gap in terms of success in business and family. What did it take for you to achieve financial freedom and build a happy family? Wow, where do you start on that one? Because <laughs> <That's good question. laughs> it's like an evolution, right? So you don't usually start where you're headed. You usually start moving toward that direction. So I would say, you know, each of us individually began to lay our own groundwork before we ever met each other. And uh, I, coming from an education background and gym in real estate, um, you know, as, as the path came along, as, as crazy and twisted or broken as it may have been, as we came together and we brought the education and the real estate together um, and then became a blended family, you know, reaching, uh, creating, you know, a cohesive family and Jim spending quality time with the boys and just as all of that cultivated, I mean, it's a, I think a we just combined, together. yeah, we combined our skills and we kind of decided to make priority what we thought was priority, not necessarily what the school systems would say, or, you know, normal society would say. And, you know, so we kind of were these little hedgehogs working in our own world and, uh, and it seemed to work. And, uh, you know, that, that was a big difference of the emphasis we put on family time and putting that ahead of a lot of things that other people don't. Um, and we, 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 as I told you, I was always serious about the real estate of saying, if I can get my real estate handled and in place, I can enjoy the good stuff. I can get to the important things. And that game plan has never gone away. And, you know, it's had ups and downs, but now on the trajectory we're on, it really does provide us to do things that, um, you know, we talk about having a legendary life, a legendary family life. And really all that means, Elaine, is it's the stuff we dreamed about as a kid that we can never have, or our parents dreamed of having for themselves and never got. And we feel like we're living that now. So that makes it legendary for us. Mm -hmm. And integrating along the way, you know, creating. Yeah. Yes. And you speak, and you speak about this in your uh, playbook, Passive Income, uh, a step-by-step -step plan to secure freedom and passive income based on your on your guide, uh, how long would it take for, for an average person to create um, an income portfolio and uh, the lifestyle you enjoy? A big dent can happen in three to five years with commitment. Now, again, it's, it's if you go to the gym once a month, you're going to have certain results, right? right. It, you, so with a consistent... Um, action steps taken we've seen really big things and we have over a thousand active investors um with our build to rent program so when you start to add that up they just took some disciplined steps the first three to five years and then continue on from that and, and if you do it right and get into the right properties with the right discipline you know you can see this really start to snowball in a positive direction mm -hmm. and in the same way that which you focus on grows so as you're building in one area, you know, in our using our playbook, if you're focused on our, you know, 10 principles and our success indicators, as you focus on those things, if you're also mindful to be building your family at the same time, and you're implementing our family process, then you find along the way that you've come a little further each step in real estate, and you've come a little further in family. And so again, bringing that integration of being able to grow your business and uh, solidify and deepen your family at the same time is, is possible. Does this guide work for single people, for single person, or only for families, for couples? No. Well, it's families it's universal. Right? Families, families take all shapes and sizes and consistencies and absolutely. Family is about close relationships. So I hear people say, oh, this is my family. And it might not be the classic family mm -hmm. setup, 
but who are your close relationships? It will help with your close relationships. With what matters most to you. I, I know who matters most. Yeah. It, absolutely. Because I know one of ours, one of our um, current clients, he, you know, what mattered most to him, his children are grown and they absolutely matter to him, but he wanted to be able to escape to various places with his wife. And so like his wife was where that focus was. And we've met other people, it's grandchildren versus children. And, you know, some people it's their nieces and nephews. Or their friends. Yeah. Close friends. They're saying, I don't, I'm working double time in whatever my profession is and I love it, but I, I would like a little space to take the foot off the gas mm -hmm. and enjoy the people that I love around me. And that's kind of what it's about. And if we don't have time to do that, then I think we're missing a big part of why what we're really yearning for. And that's what the playbook's about, about creating some space, buying back some of your time, you know, creating uh, an income without creating another job or big responsibility, you know, because we don't want to free up this time to create another job. We want to free up this time for the good things, Enjoy. for the close relationships, for the passions, for the hobbies, you know, for the adventure and travel, if you're like us. So that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. And when is the book going to be published and how can we buy it? It'll be published in July, likely July. We're looking yeah. for a launch and it'll be on Amazon and be be coming out from all of our channels. We'll make sure that we, you know, get in touch with you before the launch. Uh, but I think it'll be uh, it'll be a good continuation of of where we've tried to share very vulnerably our 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 journey over the last 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. And I think through the principles we've designed, which is through pure blood, sweat, and tears of our yeah, lots of trial and error yeah. for us too. But I think you'll you'll be able to cut down on those years just by following these principles that I wish someone had told me, you know, 20, 40 years ago when I started this. Um, very excited to read your book. Uh, no, so we're excited to get it out there. It's definitely been something that's been on our minds and hearts. We did our first family book and never thought it would do anything and without a dollar of marketing it's sold tens of thousands of copies to date and you know we're hoping we do the same thing with the real estate because it has been a big part of our life and um i want to ask this question um so what was in your life before you went to into financial freedom did you have to work nine to five job mm. if yes what was the most hated one <laughs> So I think what we've both been entrepreneurs most of our lives, but I know we've worked, I mean, I was starting at 15, probably worked three jobs at any given moment, everything from jewelry design to photography. Um, I was a seamstress for a period of time. <laughs> what are some, oh, you had some fun ones too. I was, um, I worked in corporate America for two years and I did stuff in medical advertising. So I put together brochures on irregular bowel syndrome. <laughs> So as fun as that sounds, it was even more boring than you could imagine. So oh my um, God. <laughs> two years in two years in corporate America for me, just personally, it was two years too long. <laughs> but um, but it gave me a, 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 a kick to the rear to say, well, let's try to do something on our own. I've listened to um, 18 Summers podcast for parents this morning, and I I was cheered up, cheered up. I, there was so, there was so much, so much, so many stories there that you share, you and your guests share with people. And those stories are so personal and profound. I really like it. As an artist, I want to hear stories like that, stories that people don't usually talk about. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and I kind of feel that you pointing some holes in the road with those stories. and which can help people to go around those holes and to not fall into them. Have you fallen uh, into any financial or personal darkness hole in your life that you are wished that you wish to uh, speak up? Well, I know in 2008, I came that close to bankruptcy. You know, I was heavily invested in Florida and California real estate. And that's when the bottom pulled out. And uh, had a lot of properties that were in tougher neighborhoods than I knew and had a lot more maintenance repair needed than I thought. Uh, so that was a really hard time. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have. Highly leveraged. Yeah, highly leveraged. I could have gone broke. That's why I changed. I survived 08 when a lot of people did not. 
but it was a big lesson where I had to reassess how I invested in real estate. And that's one of the, so it was one of the hardest things that ever happened to us financially, but one of the best things too, Mm -hmm. because I changed, I looked really hard about what I was doing wrong and I did the opposite and it created the opposite results. And there's, there's health, there's personal, there's financial. I know a lot of people listen to this probably want to relate to financial. That's one of the hardest ones, I think. None of, none of them are easy, but. And I think to balance, right? Because even as we chase the financial goals that we have, oftentimes we go, you know, we, we feel like we're either too much in the business or we're too much in the family or, too, you know, we, it doesn't always feel balanced. And I think that that's one thing that is a continual striving for us to care for ourselves, to care for each other, to care for our children, to care for our business, to care for, you know, like, it's just a big old bucket of who needs what at what moment and, and being mindful, you know, cause like you said, these, these potholes come when maybe I'm neglecting my health to care for everybody else, right. or um, we're super focused in the business because we've started a new one but then we have a newborn arrive and she has special needs and then we have to address her special needs and then something else falls. And so it's all, you know, that's why we really, uh, we have a good friend that helped us alter that word from balance to integration. And so what we find is as, you know, like Jim and I in the middle of our work day today, you know, I, the baby had a doctor's appointment. I'm, I'm on a call right afterwards. Our sitter picks up the other children we went and worked out right before this podcast. And so like trying to fill the buckets and instead of balancing, we're integrating. So we're, it's more like a delicate dance. And we find we hit those potholes a lot less, the more we integrate and everything has its place. So, yeah. And uh, speaking about your special needs daughter. So I was deeply moved a, a few days ago at Empowered Investor Live where, uh, Jim shared the story about an urgent surgery for her. And that's why I decided to talk to both of you in the first place about how many wonderful contributions financial freedom and money can make. And how does it make you feel that story that you went through? And yeah, so um, yeah, I think, you know, there's, there's some, you feel very lucky that you're in the space to be able to do things like that. And it, it makes that what we've done even more worthwhile because we're not, we're not really a things we, we like to go to dinner and be able to order a roll of sushi without looking what's the prices on the menu, but, but we're, we're not, not fancy cars. We're, we're not really watches. fancy cars and watch. There's we're nothing wrong with that, but we're contribution and experiences. I'd rather, instead of put something really expensive around my wrist, go see something really cool. And that's just a preference. Uh, and with that is the experience of having a family doing service work. And I think, you know, that's, that's something that uh, gives a lot of meaning, you know, it gives you an extra a little extra gas in the tank, at least for us to be able to do that. You know, we know that we've changed, she's changed our life for the better too, mm-hmm. you know, oh, and sure. I know how lucky we are, mm-hmm. uh, but being able to bring her through that. I don't even remember talking about that on stage. That, I was that, sharing, yeah, I was sure. sharing things about our family. Just here's what, real estate has done for me. Here are some of the important things, the good stuff. And, and so, you know, bringing her up, that was, uh, yeah, it, it, you really take note of saying, if I had not gotten my real estate in order, we would not be in the space to do this. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it really is that simple. And it's the, the, the realization is very rewarding. We're able to do things that other people can't a lot of the time and we're very aware of that but there's lots of sacrifices that you know came along the way or planning or diligence that goes into a lot of intentionality that goes into investing in a certain manner so that you can integrate your family so that you can do things that not that, that's not common all the time like be able to be present for you know neurosurgery and and just the other day she had her she goes every three months to have to her surgeon um and so we were at the appointment just this week and she's doing great and amazing. And I reflected to Jim how much I appreciated that he's never missed one of those appointments. And now it's even, you know, rare the fact that I don't have to check in with somebody to be able to go to all these appointments. And I couldn't imagine if I had a nine to five job that I couldn't 
I, I mean, I'd be way over my personal time off for all of these appointments and these surgeries and the things in which we've had to, to be available for. And the moments in that I wouldn't trade for anything to be able to hold her as she's healing or as she's experiencing things. And I just think, you know, and then the freedom for not just one parent, but two parents to be able to truly be available and there for her. I just think that's, that's incredible, truly. What is her name? Gloria. Gloria. It was named after my Gloria. aunt. Yeah. Beautiful name. Yeah. Beautiful name. She's lucky to have you. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you're lucky to have your family. It's five kids totally, right? You have five kids. Wow. Mm-hmm. Amazing. You're my um, model. <laughs> the model for my... Uh, we might be just insane. That's what we're yeah. told. <laughs> I just like it so much. Okay. So, um, Jim, is, um, you are also the best, uh, the Amazon best-selling author of the book, The Family Board Meeting. What mm-hmm. can people learn from this book that will help them build wealth and healthy relationships with their families? Yeah, I think that if you'll set some simple rhythms and intentions to stay grounded with your family while you're building your career, it's very doable. And there's no reason that you can't have success in business and success at home. And the strategy that I talk in there was absolutely a game changer for the relationship I have, especially with my oldest sons and now the rest of our family. And we go pretty deep into our story. And it just sets up a simple game plan, a simple rhythm that now people worldwide are using. You know, we've sold tens of thousands of copies in lots of countries. And it's a very simple strategy to not feel like a stranger at home, to not feel distant from your children, to possibly give them the attention that they're seeking and, and maybe even the validation that you're seeking. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a very simple rhythm that will, uh, well, it's, I can tell you this, it's worked for many, many people before. Uh, so I, I think it'll keep working for more people in the future. Yeah. And is anything else, is there anything new you are working on at this point? The big thing we're working on is the passive income playbook. You know, we have our, we we finally think we've cracked the code to um, to what it looks like to make the most of passive income when you get it, and also how to build it. And as you saw me speak about, you know, I've been in lots of different real estate niches, but the build to rent programs that we've been able to put together take a lot of the risk, setback, headaches out for busy people, so they don't have to create a second or third job to get into real estate investing. And they're grabbing onto the coattails of some of the biggest people in the world that have a lot more money than you and I, and that's the niche they're going into. But what we provide is for those individual investors, where most of this is build to rent is only available to big institutions or hedge funds. We've built our business on on uh, the individual investors, and uh, and it's been a really nice thing to see how much you know financial freedom we've created for these people we've worked with. And is your company Southern Impression Homes involved in this process? Southern Impression Homes, yep, I'm a partner in it. And that is where all the magic and the principles have gone into. And what my partner Chris and I have created is something through our own travels through real estate investing and working not only to build our own portfolios, but others for investors. We navigated lots of different routes from foreclosure rehabs to Uh, different avenues and the build to rent has been the most sustainable predictable and profitable for our people and southern impression homes is not i mean there's me who tells the story but behind me there's there's a team of 170 people making this happen all over the state of florida okay it's great so you um i'll ask you later to share the website for that for your business well uh and um in one of your interviews Jim, you mentioned um, the article about Steve Jobs and his reunion with his family. Yeah. Um, Was it, um, did the story motivate you to begin your own journey, your own hero's journey? Yeah, it was, it was a, a reminder that even someone with that type of fame and money wasn't guaranteed 18 summers with his kids. And so I didn't want to fast forward on my own deathbed to be doing interviews on the final days, trying to explain to my family why I wasn't there for them. It was a very powerful aha that day. Um, And, and I think that, uh, you know, there's plenty of stories out there that Steve Jobs is a jerk. I didn't know him, obviously a brilliant entrepreneur, 
but I know that people get extreme clarity or so the philosophies say people get extreme clarity at the end of their life. And I think that article and what I read about Steve Jobs, he left some very important clues. And I've always been appreciative of that where he's saying when, when his Walter Isaacs and his biographer said, are you glad you had a family? Steve Jobs fired back and said, it's 10,000 times better than anything I've ever done. And that's to a, one of the most successful entrepreneurs of all time on his deathbed. So that's always stuck with me that he has, he had some, some real clarity that I should take heed of now before it's to that point. And that's been a, a guiding light through, you know, the last 12, 13 years of my life. This is so inspiring. So inspiring. Yes. And you inspire people with your story, with your work. It's wonderful. And what are the most fun things do you do, you do with your family? Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love traveling together. So um, we, we have a home in Costa Rica that we travel to. We try to spend a good number of months there every year. And um, I think Ireland is on the books for this year as is a, a snow trip. So we do love to see new places. We love to return to places that feel, you know, draw us back. So we do really love adventuring together, I think would be the best words, you know, our our older boys and even now our middle children love to jump off of things. So think bridges, rocks, like all sorts of things into bodies of water. They love to climb tall things. I mean, they are true adventure seekers and it's really fun to step out of our comfort zone and experience um, other cultures, uh, other types of people, other types of things to jump off of. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It always brings out different parts of you, you know, the, the challenges that are presented sometimes or are um, a lot of fun to see how we all navigate through it. Yes. And um, I also, in one of your podcasts, you mentioned an idea about of, um, quality time coupons. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun and so simple. And how does it help to improve your family life? And do you still use them or you're still doing well? Uh, so perfectly uh, happy that you don't need them anymore or you still use them? Well, that's how our whole book, the family board meeting was born. So mm -hmm. originally, um, Jim, that first Christmas we were together, he gifted our big boys um, gym day coupons and they were really quality time coupons. Like each quarter you get to cash in one of these coupons to spend a whole day with me. You get to choose the activity we'll eat together. We'll just have a, a real fun day. And so it went from gym day coupons to quality time coupons to then the family board meeting and an international, you know, movement. So mm -hmm. yeah, we definitely, they're just called something different now. I really like this idea. I think everyone can use it for their families to improve their quality time together. It's wonderful. Oh, okay. So uh, please share your website, your business web website your family website uh, social media podcast and if you like to share anything else any story please tell us sure yeah so we currently um 18 summers.com is where you can find all of our family stuff jjplaybook.com is where you can find information and resources on our upcoming book um, yep. we're on Instagram, 18 summers tribe. So you can find most of all of our stuff, um, linked either on JJ playbook or 18 summers and our through, podcast through is, JJ playbook. You'll be able to find out about how we built our passive income in real estate, how you can do it. And then our company, Southern impression homes that basically will help do it for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, this is great. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh. You were saying something. Oh, just the podcast. Oh, the podcast. Anyway. As you've listened to yeah. 18 Summers podcast for it, families. It's easy to find. Yeah, definitely on the podcast. All right. And so thank you so much for being with me today and sharing your uh, story. And if you know anyone of your caliber I can talk to, please let me know. <laughs> you know how to find me. Please keep me updated about your work and fun stuff. We will. Wonderful. Thanks for interviewing Thanks us, for Selena. Selena. Yeah, we appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Right. Nice Take to meet care. you and pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.